This is Oppo F27 Pro Plus 5G smartphone and in this video I'll show you top 10 tips and tricks and hidden feature of this smartphone. So if you are planning to purchase this phone or if you have already bought this then this video can be helpful for you so watch till the end and enjoy this video. You can control this smartphone even without touching it with the help of air gesture feature. Simply open your settings, scroll down and then click on additional settings. There you will see the option of gesture and motions. Click on this and there you will see the option of air gestures. Click on this and you have three different options in air gesture. The first one is answer or mute calls. If you will enable this then you can show your palm like this and then you can mute your call and if you will show your palm like this it will answer your smartphone. The second one is scroll up and down. If you will enable this then you can scroll your social media application like YouTube, Facebook, Instagram etc by showing this gesture and without touching your smartphone. The third one is play or pause video. If you will enable this then you can play or pause your video on YouTube media application even without touching your smartphone. If you are on home screen then it feels really uneasy to reach at the corner of the screen and open any application but there is a gesture by which you can easily open any application on the home screen. Simply tap and hold on the home screen and then click on more. There you will see the option of icon pull down gesture. Click on this and then enable this. Now whenever you are on home screen, you can simply swipe from the corner like this and then it will drag all the apps around your thumb. Simply select the application you want to open and then it will open this application. If you are with your friends and you are having a small gathering, then you can use this music party application. With the help of this, you can sync several phones to play the same song you simply have to click on create a party and then connect via personal hotspot or via wi-fi then it will play the same song in all those connected smartphones you can use three applications at the same time in a single screen simply open any application put it in recent and then click on three dots there you will see the option of floating window click on this and then select the second application you want to use and then swipe up by using your three fingers like this and now select the third application as you can see you will be able to use three application in a single screen like this you can also monitor your real-time internet speed in this smartphone and you don't have to download any third party application for this simply open your settings scroll down and then click on notification and status bar click on status bar there you will see the option of real-time network speed enable this then it will start showing your internet speed in your status bar Open your camera application and then click on these three lines and then click on settings. Scroll down there you will see the option of volume button action. Click on this. By default it is selected to shutter you have to select zoom. Now whenever you are using your camera application you can simply long press your volume up button then it will zoom in and if you will long press your volume down button then it will zoom out. So with the help of this you can feel like a, you are using a manual camera with the help of this volume button. You can hide your photos, videos, documents, etc. And you don't have to download any third party app. You can simply do that by following these steps. Open your settings. Scroll down and then click on security and privacy. Now scroll down to the bottom and then click on private safe. Now firstly you have to set a privacy password. Click on set password. You can set a six digit password or you can use a different password type like pattern, alpha, numeric, etc. Now answer a security question and then click on this done icon. Now select the photo or videos you want to hide and then click on this add icon and then click on set as private. Now this will not show these files in your files manager or any other albums as you can see but if you will open your private safe from your settings then it will show all your hidden photos and videos. If you are using your phone with a single hand then it feels really uncomfortable to reach at the top and open this notification bar but there is a gesture by which you can easily open this control center. Simply tap and hold on the home screen and then click on more. Scroll down there you will see the option of swipe down on home screen option. By default it is selected to shelf you have to select notification drawer. Now if you are on home screen you can simply swipe down on the empty area then it will open your notification drawer. You can also enable this fast torch feature. You can long press your volume down button when your phone is locked to enable your flashlight and again long press your volume down button to turn it off. By default this feature is disabled in this smartphone. Simply open your settings, scroll down and then click on additional settings. Click on gesture and motions. There you will see the option of turn on or off torch with volume button. Enable this. 
Now whenever your phone is locked, you can simply long press your volume down button to turn your flashlight on and press it again to turn your flashlight off. If you want to increase the life spam of your battery, then you must enable the next feature. Simply open your settings, scroll down and then click on battery. There you will see the option of smart charging. Enable this. Now it will charge your phone up to 80% with normal speed. Then it takes a little bit extra time to charge your phone fully. So with the help of this, you can increase the battery life and use your battery more efficiently. Use this smart sidebar feature to easily access your favorite application and also click a screenshot, screen recording and real-time translation of any page. If you will open any application from this smart sidebar, it will open it in floating window. Now you can use your phone normally and it will remain as floating window on your screen. You can also resize this from these corners. You can also temporarily save any file in this file dock in this smart sidebar. And you can also edit this one, add your favorite application and remove unnecessary application from this sidebar. You can also enable this double tap to lock and double tap to wake your screen up feature. By default, this feature is disabled. Simply tap and hold on the home screen and then click on more. Scroll down there, you will see the option of double tap to wake or turn off screen. Enable this and also enable this double tap to lock feature. Now, whenever you are on home screen, you can simply double tap on the empty area to lock your screen and double tap on the locked screen to turn your screen up. If you will long press your power button, then it will launch the voice assistant app instead of your power menu. Now, if you want to change it to power menu, open your settings, scroll down and then click on additional settings. There you will see the option of power button click on this and then click on press and hold the power button by default it is selected to voice assistant you have to select power menu now if you will long press your power button it will launch your power menu but if you want to keep this long pressing power button as your voice assistant now if you want to open your power menu then you have to press your volume up button and power button at the same time then it will enable your power menu you can also clone any application or make dual of any application in this smartphone so with the help of this you can log in with two different account in a single application simply open your settings and then click on apps there you will see the option of app cloner click on this it will show all the application which are clonable in your smartphone select the application you want to clone it will take few seconds then it will create the clone of this application as you can see I have two snapchats now and I can log in with two different account in a single application. You can also change the shape of these feature in your control center. Simply open your settings, scroll down and then click on wallpaper and style. Scroll down and then click on quick settings. Here you have six different options. You can select your favorite one then it will change the shape of all these features in your control panel. Now let's talk about some of the screen of gestures of this smartphone. Open your settings, scroll down and then click on additional settings, click on gesture and motions and then click on screen of gesture. Firstly enable this. Now the second one option here is draw an O to open camera. If you enable this, now whenever your phone is locked, you can simply draw an O then it will automatically launch your camera application. Here there is another screen of gesture, draw a V to turn torch on or off, enable this. Now whenever your phone is locked, you can simply draw a V then it will turn on your flashlight and if you will draw it again, it will turn it off. If you want to set any specific app for these letters, you can select from these three options. For example, I have to set my Gmail for this W. Firstly enable this and then click on this and then click on open an app. Now select the app you want to open here, I select Gmail. And now whenever my phone is logged, I can simply draw a W, then it will automatically launch my Gmail application. You can also adjust the brightness of your torch. Simply open this control center and then click on this little arrow under the torch. Here you have four different options to adjust the brightness of your torch. This phone comes with 120Hz of refresh rate, but by default it is selected to auto. If you want to get the maximum output from this smartphone, then you have to select the 120Hz. Simply open your settings, scroll down and then click on display and brightness. Scroll down, there you will see the option of refresh rate. And by default it is selected to auto, you have to select high. Now you will get the smoothest experience in the smartphone, but keep in mind it will consume your battery little bit extra as well. So these were some tips and tricks and hidden feature of this smartphone. If you like this video then let us know in the comment section. We will see you in the next one. Till then have fun and keep on exploring your smartphone.